Hello my dear, today I will talk on very important two muscular dystrophy that is Duchenne muscular dystrophy DMD and Baker muscular dystrophy BMD. These two muscular dystrophy group in together as because they had similarity in terms of pathogenesis, clinical feature, investigation, treatment and prognosis. Of course, they have some differentiating point in some specific points. We will talk one by one in this lecture. So, let's start. Both the DMD and BMD are X-linked recessive disorder. X-linked recessive disorder. X-linked recessive disorder. As per rule from our genetics class, we know X-linked recessive disorder means male are affected very unfortunate the male person are whereas the female are just carrier it is the it is the usual rule but sometimes in some condition females may be affected okay so this is the similarity at first similarity the dmd and bmd both are ax link recessive disorder okay now uh, we will talk another point and for that uh, DMD versus BMD okay how can we differentiate it at first the onset onset DMD onset uh, less than five years that means the boy develop features of DMD within the age of five years whereas the BMD boy BMD boy develop the features of BMD because muscular dystrophy as the age after five years it is actually five to fifteen years how can we remember this which one is earlier how can we remember this look at here look at your alphabet A followed by B followed by C followed by D this is the rules B followed by D but in case of our muscular dystrophy class the rule is reverse that is D followed by B D followed by B sometimes in our life we have to go in reverse way and this is the example in our life when we will go in reverse way that is the D appear at first B appear the last so DMD appear first that is within five years of age and BMD appear last that is the after five years actually it is five to fifteen years so this is the first differentiating point between these two next next uh, the life expectancy life expectancy life expectancy is in case of dmd around 18 to 20 years but it is about 40 to 50 years in case of baker muscular dystrophy you can uh, remember this mnemonic the baker baker is better very simple baker is better in all time onset after five years better baker better in comparison to duchenne muscular dystrophy of course life expectancy in term of life expectancy baker is better as because it is about 40 to 50 years but it is about 40, 18 to 20 years only for Duchenne, very unfortunate boy. So this is second differentiating point between these two. Then number three, uh, disability. Of course, the disability is better in Baker. The boy of DMD patient the boy of DMD patient become wheelchair bound by adolescence that means the when the is approach around 12 years 
so disability the dmd boy become wheelchair bound around the age of 12 years whereas the bmd patient become disabled later on it may be 25 to 30 years so it is better the baker baker better and life expectancy of course better in baker now another point the intellectual disability or cognitive impairment whatever you say cognitive impairment or intellectual capacity that is iq iq is better in baker that is in case of baker uh, baker muscular dystrophy iq is or intellectual disability is less affected twister and more affected in Duchenne, three star and two star these are the bad star mind it a star always not good there are some star too so Duchenne muscular dystrophy three star the bad star baker muscular dystrophy two star the bad star now the next differentiating point of course it is not differentiating point actually the cardiac failure both uh, next again dmd and bmd okay so both uh, dmd and bmd patient develop cardiac problem cardiac arrhythmia or cardiomyopathy or cardiac failure both patient develop cardiac abnormality but only the dmd patient develop a respiratory complication leading to respiratory failure mode of death but bmd patient bmd patient usually develop no no respiratory complication or respiratory failure next differentiating point actually it is, this is not differentiating point both uh, dmd and bmd patient develop has uh, high ck level high ck level high ck level myalgia high ck level myalgia that means uh, muscle pain and myoglobinuria myoglobinuria uh, presented as high color urine episodic not persistent so this is uh, the differentiating point between these two as well as the clinical features when patient actually present as muscular dystrophy where the proximal muscle especially lower limb are prominently involved patient present as weakness and osteing of the muscle proximal group of muscle mind it actually it is proximal type of muscular dystrophy as we know from our clinical textbook the myopathy to a dystrophy when a muscular dystrophy two type proximal and distal Duchenne and muscular Duchenne and Baker muscular dystrophy are proximal type of muscular dystrophy where the hip and thigh are more prominent more uh, prominently involved so proximal myopathy lower extremity are more involved lower extremity are more involved now we will talk on the investigation investigation in both case serum cpk already i said have said the serum CK, uh, ck that is uh, ketone kinase elevated it is usually elevated as because there is muscular dystrophy so release of ketone kinase always and this is a preliminary investigation first line investigation then the muscle biopsy with histopathology muscle biopsy and histopathology the histopathology report will show the dystrophic feature the dystrophy of muscle fiber and a special uh, staining of the biopsy specimen will show the dystrophin the dystrophin in case of dmd will be absent and in case of bmd it will be the reduced reduced in size so I repeat again, it is very important finding the muscular uh, in case of Duchenne muscular dystrophy, the dystrophin will be absent totally, but in case of 
BMD Baker it is reduced not totally absent and the most important uh, confirmatory investigation is genetic testing the genetic testing will show will uh, give the evidence of deletional deletional mutation gene mutation dystrophin so nowadays uh, muscle biopsy as it is very painful and invasive procedure genetic testing is, and, uh, is uh, performed more commonly as because it is readily available and non invasive sometimes uh, it may be un un unavailable so in that setting muscle biopsy is important so now i'll talk on uh, the treatment of the these two condition i don't know okay treatment the glucocorticoid uh, slow the progression in dmd it is not effective for bmd so dmd and bmd in case of dmd glucocorticoid is uh, effective it slow the progression not halt the progression but it can slow the progression of uh, the disease process in dmd but not uh, effective in bmd in both case uh, physiotherapy and occupational therapy is uh, effective to maintain the function so physiotherapy physiotherapy and occupational therapy effective in both case in both patient as the both patient develop a cardiac abnormality so the both patient need a cardiac consultation cardiac consultation and patient, both patient may need a permanent pacemaker insertion uh, to manage the arrhythmia in both case and as the dmd patient the only develop uh, respiratory complication so the the needs extra care in term of uh, respiratory rehabilitation uh, patient develop nocturnal hypoventilation nocturnal hypoventilation it is there uh, respiratory complication in case of dmd patient develop nocturnal hypoventilation and respiratory failure at times so they needs at first non invasive ventilation followed by ventil uh, in uh, invasive ventilation so patient uh, invariably uh, dmd patient invariably develop uh, repeated recurrent uh, respiratory infection respiratory tract infection aspiration pneumonia and respiratory failure in dmd patient uh, the recent advance in uh, medical science uh, the gene therapy gene therapy available in dmd patient but not in bmd in both case the as part of consultation the patient uh, and patient's family uh, should have genetic counseling session it is most important genetic counseling session should be given from the treating physician or treating team to the family of dmd and vmd so this is all about uh, duchenne and muscular uh, duchenne muscular dystrophy and becker muscular dystrophy uh, hope for this video will be helpful for uh, the student of undergraduate as well as postgraduate medical science so thank you thank you very much